Hey guys, my name is Susan, and this is Cobra, and welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord or Pybot for your server. Today we're doing GitHub stuff, we're going to be creating a repository for the bot. If you're not interested in any of the GitHub stuff, then you can literally just skip this video as that's all it's going to be. However, if you do want to do some GitHub stuff, then here we are. Um, so as you can see, this is all the repositories that I have under the, uh, under the Cobra brand. We're going to be creating a new one. And we're going to be calling it, whoopsie uh, updated discord.py.py tutorial. God, if I uh, could work out where anything was. Um, we're going to leave the description for now, or you always come back to that later. Uh, it's a public repository, so the code calls open source. Initialize a readme, yes, we're going to need a readme, but we're not actually going to, we're not going to construct the readme now. Um, we're not going to have a git ignore. Because we're going to make our own one. You can you can choose one if you want. You can have the Python one if you so wish, but there's no need for that. At least for me using Sublime anyway. Uh, we're going to add a license. Uh, we're going to add the MIT license, the MIT one. I believe that's the one I want anyway. <laughs> uh, let me quickly check that. I haven't gotten confused. Okay, so after having uh, double checked the licenses, I'm actually going to add a custom license to this later. Um, because essentially I just, I want people to be able to copy and modify the code all they want, but just not sell my version explicitly. Uh, of course you can sell a modified version, but I'll make that clear on license. So we're just going to not add a license for now. Because um, I'm getting really confused with the licenses. And here we are, we have our, our repository set up. It's got absolutely shit all in it, um, except for a readme with just a title. Um, if you want to edit the readme when you're here, just click that and we are you, you've presented with this screen. Uh, the, a, a brief rundown of how the readme works. The number of hashtags uh, represents the number of header levels. So, uh, uh, so one hashtag is a title and you get two, three and they're all subheaders of, it, of themselves until you get to six. That's seven, I can count. There we go, that's just, oh, it's all blending into one. Um, uh, I believe back quotes a uh, code, and I think I think the rest of Markdown works. I don't actually remember. Um, something like that. There is uh, there'll be a document somewhere about it. Um, have all re all we really care about. If I can actually talk, that would be nice. Um, is <clears throat> is cloning the repository so if we just come back home for a second we can clone or download and we're going to open in the desktop which then opens the desktop application I'm actually going to choose a slightly custom path for this um, because I always used to throw my repos in one folder and then decided that was probably a really bad idea so I'm going to do this have that just so I can keep all the old versions of the old episodes <clears throat> in case I need to do kind of intermediate episodes later on we're going to clone it in course there's not going to be anything there oh my word that freaked out for a second but if you're going to update discord.py but we have update discord.py tutorial if we enter that we have our readme.md if we view hidden files we should see a .git yeah <clears throat> we have a .git with all our stuff in here that I don't understand what any of it does but it does good things and then we can actually edit the readme from here if we so wanted to but uh, I don't I might later, but <laughs> I don't want to do that right now. Okay, editing me in here for a bit. There's something I actually realised that I forgot to do when I, was when I uh, did this, and it was a git ignore. We need to actually make the git ignore, and I, I never did that. Um, we're not going to do the license here, but we we do need to make that. So we can just do that in um, our uh, TXT editor notepad. I'm doing Sublime just because it's my standard IDE. So what we do is we need to make a new file. We need to save it under our proper repo where the hell has it gone there and there um ignore these extra files i'm doing this after episode five um sorry uh, we just need to do dot git ig oh ignore and i'll automatically uh do that when we next commit the database uh commit the git commit the repository so <laughs> commit just do the thing <laughs> Okay, um, 
So as I said, we're making a, a little bit of a custom one. We're not going to add too much in here. The main thing is going to be uh, just don't move any databases onto the onto the server. Otherwise, of course, stuff is going to go wrong. Um, if for whatever reason DB journal files that exist in local directories, don't move them over either. And ignore any file or any folder that is a PyCache just to save time. <laughs> Really, we're moving stuff between things. So these are the only three things I think we're going to need for now, um, as far as I can tell. Uh, I don't, I can't think of anything else right now. Uh, we'll probably come back to the git ignore um, and do this, but um, yeah. So yeah, that is basically creating a repository for our bot. The next episode, we're actually going to be coding the thing. <laughs> oh yes, we're going to be creating a database first. Um, all database stuff before we actually run the bot. Um, so if you like the video and say hello down below, if you have any questions leave them in the comments or join the discord server in the description. If you really like the video then consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss out on future episodes and if you really really like the video then consider supporting me on Patreon because it would be a really cool thing to do but you don't have to. <sighs> I'm getting good at that now aren't I? Um, but yeah, I'll see you for the next video where we create the database.